this is peak representation, po politics of representation, or like recognition. This is like, this is the logical conclusion of a politics, of a liberal politics of recognition, where it's like, you're just representing, you're just putting like black women into these characters. And it's kind of like these characters are just receptacles for representation or tokenization, essentially, or like you're including indigenous nationhood. And because what liberal identity politics does is it creates the liberal individual, which is one of the building blocks. Sorry, I'm going to go into my academic explanation. But like the liberal individual, which is one of the building blocks of like liberal societies like the United States, for example. And then the, the idea, the logic of race, which creates a hierarchy, right? A hierarchy of value that's assigned um, where some people, some human beings, but then also certain forms of life, right? Whether they're animals or plants or the earth itself are given value according to their class, right? There's a, high, a class hierarchy that's built into liberal ideology. And then the liberal individual becomes this kind of like measuring mechanism for like, it's the receptacle. It's essentially, a, what, what would they call it in post-structuralism? It's like an empty signifier. It's a receptacle that you can invest with certain attributes to do the work of this like class and racial hierarchy. And so today, I've talked about this in relationship to the pretendianism stuff, right? Today, because we live in a neoliberal multicultural society where liberalism has taken on this like gesture of diversity, equity, and inclusion, right? Where the gesture of inclusion means you get to include people, a tokenized few people into like a hall of power, whether it's like a powerful political position or you're giving them more money to make movies like this or reservation dogs, you know, or those kinds of things. And so the gesture of inclusion means that you're giving somebody resources for their identity, right? And so the liberal individual receptacle under a neoliberal multicultural order is one in which like more diversity and like more inclusion of more diverse identities becomes like the, the commodity. It becomes the way in which like liberalism re-expresses itself and regurgitates itself, right? To renormalize itself when it's being challenged for, for its racism, right? When it's being challenged for the prior kind of iterations of like the receptacle of liberal individualism that has usually, and still today, pretty much just been invested with like heteropatriarchy and white supremacy and like a property bearing, like the property bearing white settler male, for example, in a place like the United States. And so it's tricky because it can play it can be invested with different identity attributes, but it's still just at the end of the day, the empty signifier, Jody Bird calls it the zombie, zombie imperialism. It's still just a zombie, no matter what kind of character, the color of their skin, the language that they're speaking that you put into the zombie, it's still just a zombie. And so the movie is literally just filled with a bunch of zombies. It's like identity is purely, it's like purely tokenized because if it weren't, if it weren't just a zombie, then there would be actual politics to the movie that wasn't just liberalism. It wasn't just the dead end of liberalism. Because like I said, that like zombie receptacle, it'll just keep reinventing itself over and over and over again to smooth over any kind of challenge to like the original class hierarchy that, that drives the entire system of liberalism that liberalism relies upon. And so I think we've already done a pretty good job I think kind of pointing out and analyzing that the movie doesn't actually have politics. It's like the anti-politics. It's like anti-liberation. And so my the only conclusion that I can draw is that it's just pure liberal individualism, which is also why it's a very, the plot of the film is very incoherent as well, because it's basically just a bunch of individuals, whether or not they're like black women, you know, who are trying to lead Wakanda, or they're like an indigenous man who's trying to lead, you know, the indigenous water nation, they're literally just individuals who are being motivated by their individual traumas, right? Their grief, their revenge or whatever. And then they just like fight with each other. And then like nothing gets resolved. There's no politics whatsoever. It's literally just like individual motivations. And it's just a bunch of individuals. I don't know, just like running amok and just making really poor choices. <laughs> basically. And then there's no explanation about like what motivates them other than their individualism. And so that's why I think that this is like peak liberalism. I know it represents